heroines of the American Civil War, women of valor and determination. The American Civil War, spanning from 1861 to 1865, was not just a battleground for soldiers, it also provided a stage for countless women who demonstrated bravery, resilience, and patriotism. Their roles varied from spies to nurses, from soldiers in disguise to advocates for the wounded. While some donned uniforms, posing as men to fight for their cause, others worked behind the scenes, providing crucial intelligence or medical care. This list highlights 10 remarkable women whose contributions to the Civil War era deserve our acknowledgement and respect. Number 1. Sarah Edmonds, aka Franklin Thompson. Sarah Emma Edmonds was more than just a woman in disguise during the Civil War, she was a testament to bravery and dedication. Enlisting in the 2nd Michigan Infantry under the pseudonym Franklin Thompson, Edmonds took on varied roles. She worked as a field nurse, tending to wounded soldiers, and was a reliable mail carrier, ensuring that messages were delivered even amidst the chaos of war. Perhaps most intriguing was her stint as a Union spy, where she undertook dangerous missions behind Confederate lines. Her daring exploits, including her experiences dressing as a black man and as a woman to infiltrate enemy positions, were later documented in her memoir, Nurse and Spy in the Union Army, offering an in-depth look into the challenges and triumphs she faced. Number 2. Jenny Hodgers, aka Albert Cashier. Jenny Hodgers, often recognized by her alias Albert Cashier, stands as one of the most fascinating stories of women in the Civil War. Enlisted in the 95th Illinois Infantry, Hodgers, as cashier, participated in over 40 engagements, proving her mettle as a soldier. Her true gender remained a well-guarded secret throughout the war and for many years after, only coming to light in 1911 following an accident. What's truly remarkable about Hodgers is her commitment to her male identity, she continued living as Albert Cashier long after the war ended, maintaining her male persona in both private and public life. Number 3. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman, widely celebrated for her courageous role in the Underground Railroad, also made significant contributions to the Civil War. Beyond her renowned efforts to help slaves escape to freedom, Tubman assisted the Union Army in various capacities. She served as a nurse, caring for wounded soldiers, and worked as a cook, ensuring troops were well fed. But her strategic mind and intimate knowledge of southern terrains also made her an invaluable spy. One of her most notable contributions was aiding in the Combahee River raid. Using intelligence she gathered, Union forces managed to liberate over 700 slaves in a single raid, showcasing Tubman's profound impact on both the battlefront and the broader fight for freedom. Number 4. Loretta Janetta Velasquez, aka Harry T. Buford. Loretta Janetta Velasquez's story is one of defiance against both gender and societal norms. Born in Havana, Cuba, her life took a sharp turn when she decided to support the Confederate cause during the American Civil War. In order to take an active role in the war, Velasquez adopted the persona of Lieutenant Harry T. E. Buford. As Buford, she not only enlisted but also recruited a battalion. Post-enlistment, she fought in significant battles, including Bull Run and Fort Donelson. However, her journey wasn't limited to the battlefield. Velasquez also worked as a spy, often switching back to her female identity to gather information behind Union lines. Her audacious life and experiences were meticulously documented in her book, The Woman in Battle, providing a riveting account of her contributions and the challenges she faced. Number 5. Frances Clayton, aka Jack Williams. Frances Clayton's dedication to both her husband and the Union cause drove her to make an extraordinary decision. When her husband enlisted to fight in the Civil War, Frances couldn't bear the thought of staying behind. Adopting the male alias of Jack Williams, she enlisted in a Missouri artillery unit. The pair, with Frances undetected as a woman, fought side by side in numerous battles, showcasing both her bravery and skill. Their remarkable journey took a turn when her husband died in combat, but even then, Frances continued to fight, her identity concealed, for some time before eventually leaving the army. Number 6. Clara Barton. Long before she founded the American Red Cross, 
Clara Barton etched her name into history with her selfless service during the Civil War. Without formal training, Barton took on the role of a nurse, driven purely by her compassion and determination. Recognizing the acute need for medical supplies on the front lines, she took it upon herself to gather and distribute crucial resources. Barton wasn't content staying in the confines of makeshift hospitals, she ventured directly onto battlefields, tending to wounded soldiers under active gunfire. This courage, combined with her dedication, earned her the fitting nickname Angel of the Battlefield. Her endeavors during the war laid the groundwork for her later humanitarian efforts, which would leave a lasting impact on disaster relief and medical aid. Number 7. Sarah Rosetta Wakeman, aka Lyons Wakeman. Sarah Rosetta Wakeman's story offers a unique window into the lives of women who defied societal norms during the Civil War. Facing dire financial circumstances, Wakeman made the bold decision to enlist in the 153rd New York State Volunteers, adopting the male identity of Lyons Wakeman. Throughout her service, Wakeman maintained correspondence with her family. It was through these letters, discovered and published many decades later, that historians gained a first-hand account of her experiences, her struggles with her identity, and the broader challenges of wartime. These letters, filled with observations and emotions, provide an unparalleled glimpse into the life of a woman soldier in the Civil War, highlighting the sacrifices and the daily life of someone living a dual identity under trying circumstances. Number 8. Cathay Williams, aka William Cathy. Cathay Williams' story is groundbreaking in many ways. Born into slavery in Independence, Missouri, Williams tasted freedom at the end of the Civil War. Determined to chart her own path, she made the audacious decision to enlist in the 38th U.S. Infantry in 1866. To do so, Williams adopted the male identity of William Cathy. For two years, she maintained this ruse, becoming the first and only known African-American woman to serve in the U.S. regular army during these times. Her true identity was eventually discovered in 1868 during a medical exam, leading to her discharge. Despite the challenges she faced, both as a woman and as a person of color, Williams's story stands as a testament to resilience and defiance against societal expectations. Number 9. Rose O'Neill Greeno. Rose O'Neill Greeno's contributions to the Confederate cause have cemented her place in the annals of Civil War history. Born into a prosperous Maryland family, Greeno moved in elite circles in Washington, D.C., a position she leveraged for the Confederate cause. Utilizing her vast network, she managed to relay crucial intelligence, most notably influencing the outcome of the First Battle of Bull Run in favor of the Confederates. Her effective espionage did not go unnoticed by Union forces. Eventually arrested in 1861, she was placed under house arrest before being transferred to the old Capitol prison. Despite these setbacks, Greeno's dedication to the Confederate cause never wavered, and even after her release, she continued her efforts, further showcasing her audacity and dedication. Number 10. Dr. Mary Edwards Walker. Dr. Mary Edwards Walker is the only woman to have been awarded the U.S. Medal of Honor. Earning her medical degree in 1855, she served as a Union Army surgeon during the American Civil War. Despite the gender biases of her time, she often wore a modified officer's uniform for its practicality. In 1864, she was captured by Confederate forces and spent four months as a prisoner of war, suspected of espionage. After the war, President Andrew Johnson recognized her bravery and service with the Medal of Honor in 1865. Beyond her military service, Walker was a passionate advocate for women's rights and often challenged societal gender norms.